So before we get into this next story, I want to preface it by saying that John Bolton should not have even been allowed to serve in Donald Trump's administration as his national security advisor, because this is a war criminal who should be in prison for the rest of his life. And the fact that he isn't in prison for committing crimes against humanity shows that our country doesn't actually value human rights. In fact, he's so bloodthirsty, he might literally be psychopathic. Having said that, he was in Trump's administration, and usually one quality about him is that he doesn't necessarily lie. He kind of tells you how thirsty he is for blood. I mean, on Fox News, he said openly that it would be great if American oil companies were able to get into Venezuela, right? He said this. He talked openly about wanting to overthrow the regime in Iran, which leads me to believe that in his tell-all book that's coming out on Tuesday, a lot of the things that he's saying about Trump are to be believed. And if we do believe what John Bolton is saying about Donald Trump, these are absolutely bombshell revelations that may be more harmful than any other leak from the Trump administration. This is absolutely concerning. Now, Trump is trying to shut down the release of this book. His administration literally filed a lawsuit to try to stop this book from being published, claiming that it contains classified information. Now, I don't believe that. The publisher has said that classified information included has been redacted, so it's not actually going to, you know, publish classified information. But I think that the reason why Trump doesn't want this to get out is because the revelations in here are genuinely jaw-dropping. And I say this as someone who thinks that a lot of the stories about Donald Trump oftentimes are overblown because he is clickbait for the mainstream media, right? So they try to find anything and gin up a controversy. But these are controversies that are real controversies. These are jaw-dropping revelations. So, there's a lot that is coming out of his book. We'll probably learn more. But I want to focus on two. Two that really speak to Donald Trump's character. The first comes from J. Edward Moreno of The Hill, who reports, Former White House National Security Advisor John Bolton claims in his forthcoming memoir that President Trump called journalists scumbags who should be executed. Bolton said Trump made the comments during a meeting last summer in New Jersey, according to a copy of Bolton's book obtained by The Hill. During the meeting, Trump said journalists should be jailed so they would have to expose their sources, Bolton wrote. These people should be executed. They are scumbags, Trump said, according to Bolton's account chronicled in the memoir, The Room Where It Happened. So just pause for a moment and reflect on that. The sitting president of the United States thinks that he should be able to jail and in some instances, execute journalists, U.S. journalists. This isn't just authoritarian. This is totalitarian. And we know that he doesn't really care about the First Amendment because just a couple of weeks back, what did he do? He threatened to use the military to violently crush protests. We have a right to free speech. Protests as Isaiah James said, are meant to make people feel uncomfortable, but because they make him look bad, because he is refusing to respond to the protests in an adequate way, he wants to violently shut them down. So we believe, so we know that he believes that the First Amendment, you know, can be disregarded. He doesn't care about the Eighth Amendment or the Fourth Amendment as well. But now we know he actually believes that some journalists should be executed or jailed until they reveal their sources. I mean, doesn't that defeat the whole purpose of journalism? Doesn't that make them incapable of being a check on government tyranny? Well, yeah, but that's the point. Now, that doesn't necessarily say that he would execute a journalist, but the fact that he thinks they should be executed and he's in the highest position in our country, that is genuinely worrying. Now, on top of that, he may have encouraged the president of China to commit genocide. As Dominique Mosbergen of HuffPost reports, President Donald Trump didn't merely stand idly by as Xi Jinping detained Uyghur Muslims en masse, but encouraged the Chinese leader to build facilities akin to concentration camps to imprison members of the minority group, former National Security Advisor John Bolton claims in his new bombshell book, The Room Where It Happened. The excerpt contains several damning details about Trump's relationship with Xi and China. In it, Bolton claims that Trump had asked him in 2018 why we were considering sanctioning China over its treaty of the Uyghurs, a largely Muslim people who live primarily in China's northwest Xinjiang province. 
At the opening dinner of the Osaka G20 meeting in June 2019, with only interpreters president, Xi had explained to Trump why he was basically building concentration camps in Xinjiang. According to our interpreter, Trump said that Xi should go ahead with building the camps, which Trump thought was exactly the right thing to do. The National Security Council's top Asia staffer, Matthew Pottinger, told me that Trump said something very similar during his November 2017 trip to China. Xi's government has been accused of imprisoning at least one million Uyghurs in detention camps, where inmates have reported torture, sexual assault, and other crimes. China has defended these camps as anti-terrorism re-education centers. The excerpt of Bolton's book was published on the same day that Trump signed legislation aimed at punishing China for its treatment of Uyghurs and other ethnic minority groups. So think about that. Rather than using his influence to try to pressure China to do the correct thing, when he has the ear of China, he's saying, no, I think you should build concentration camps. And the signing of that legislation is really convenient. Does that not look like shameless damage control? And if you don't believe that Trump would recommend this, remember, we have concentration camps in the United States currently. We are putting immigrant children and their parents in these camps because of Donald Trump's zero tolerance immigration policy, where we literally break apart families at the border as a form of deterrence to tell other immigrants, don't think about coming. Otherwise, we're going to put you in these cages and break up your families as well. So Trump is absolutely fascistic. He has authoritarian and totalitarian instincts. There is a real difference there between those two things. And this should absolutely horrify everyone. See, I don't care that he believes that journalists are scumbags, whatever. But the fact that he thinks they should be jailed until they reveal their sources or even executed, I shouldn't have to say this, but this is obviously antithetical to democracy. Trump absolutely wants to be a dictator. And if he loses this election in November, which polls currently show that that's looking more likely, even though things can change. I mean, can you imagine the shit show that that is going to be? He's going to cry that the election was rigged and he is not going to want to leave. I mean, I'd be surprised if he actually acted like a, an adult and conceited, but it's going to be a shit show because this is an individual who is petty. He is entitled. He thinks he is owed power in this country and he has authoritarian instincts. So, you know, things are really ugly right now. He's not the first president with authoritarian instincts, but I mean, the fact that he thinks that journalists should be executed, that really is is troubling. I mean, this is uh, this should scare everyone. Look, if Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders or AOC or any politician, if they said that they thought that journalists should be executed or gave us any indication that that was their belief, we should all be outraged regardless of their party affiliation. It's bad enough that both parties, you know, they don't actually care about the Fourth Amendment. They don't actually care about, you know, protecting journalists. You know, none of them speak out on behalf of Julian Assange. They are all for the prosecution of Edward Snowden. So, you know, we've already kind of moved towards this mentality to where we are trying to criminalize real journalism in this country that's supposed to act as a check on government authority. But this takes it a step further. Donald Trump is in power and now he thinks that we should be able to execute journalists. The fact that he has this mindset is absolutely chilling.